Hello everyone and welcome to a new video and in this video we are gonna feature the match highlight of the final of the South Africa Women's T20 Tri Series and the match is played between Team India Women's and Team South Africa Women's the final match and the update about the toss is that Team India Women's have won the toss and they have elected to bat first and here comes the first wicket or the final ball of the second over and Mandana gone tossed upon a middle and Mandana comes down after 7 dot ball and misses at the ball turn late and hit the leg Sam Smriti Mandana bowled by Malaba on a duck and score of Team India is now 1 run with the loss of 1 wicket and that's back to back boundaries and at the end of 6 over the score of the India women's team is now 19 run with the loss of 1 wicket second wicket for Malaba tossed up and off and Rodriguez comes down the track to hit it toward the offside and misses by a good margin as the keeper removes the bail immediately, India 2 down. Score of Team India is now 21 run with the loss of 2 wicket and that's the 2 wicket has gone down in the early stage for the India women's team in this final game. And Dekirk is back into the attack and replaces Kaka full and straight, caught drive it straight but Clark gets a hand in the middle, would have been a boundary otherwise single to follow 4 from that over and at the end of 8 over the score of the India women's team is now 25 runs with the loss of 2 wicket. Malaba continues with Toffer and Kaur gets an unease and help it towards that third man and that is gone for a much needed boundary single to finish 10 of that over and score of Team India is now 35 run with the loss of 2 wicket at the end of 9 overs. Chloe Tyron replaces the clerk and single of the first ball 4. Kaur attempted a slog sweep but he takes a top edge and runs to the boundary 8 of that over and at the end of 10 over the score of the India women's team is now 43 run with the loss of 2 wicket at the halfway stage in this final game and Sunaru is into the attack and full land and wide and caught drive it through the cover for a single googly and Kaur gets caught off guard, checks a shot in the last moment, takes an inside edge and falls safely and at the end of 11 over the score is now 48 runs with the loss of 2 wicket. Tyron continues slow and flatted, they all comes down the track but fail to hit it properly and they all sweeps and sweeps hard but Brits does well to stop it wide and it runs away for a 4 down the leg side. 7 from that over and at the end of 12 over the score of the India women's team is now 55 runs with the loss of 2 wicket. Lewis resumes wide the outside off and they all comes down the track and clear the infield but brilliant work from the fielder to stop it running away from the boundary. 3 from that over, Malaba is back into the attack replaces Tyron. 2 runs out chances and the South Africans have squandered both of them. 4 from that over and at the end of 14 over the score of the India women's team in this T20 Tri-Series final against Team South Africa is 62 run with the loss of 2 wickets. 6 overs to go. Lewis continues full and wide and they all dances down and lofted it over the curve for a double. Gone. It's a huge wicket and it's the wicket of captain Harman Preet Kaur. 3 similar wickets flatted yet again. Kaur comes down the track and misses. Stumped. 7 run and a wicket from that over and at the end of 15 over the score of the India women's team is now 69 run with the loss of 3 wicket. Tyron replaces Malaba and Deepthi Sharma isn't at 5 and tidy over just 6 from it and at the end of 16 over the score of the India women's team is now 75 run with the loss of 3 wicket. Lewis to Deepthi and driven through the offside and it is just a single. They all continues to frustrate bowlers. Wits on the offside and they will slap it through the leg side for a 4. Much needed boundary at that stage in this final 6 and 5 overs and this remaining 3 overs. These are the death overs for the India women's team to post a competitive total in this big final. 7 of that over and at the end of 17 over the score of the India women's team is now 82 run with the loss of 2 wicket. Tyrant continues wide down the leg side and they all sneaks a single wide yet again and Deepthi gets a single of this time. Single to finish. 10 from that over better needs to score big for India to reach the average score of 120 plus. Things are looking bleak for India right now as at the end of 18 over. The score of the India women's team is now 92 run with the loss of 2 wicket. Ismail is back replaces lose. Deepthi makes match and that is gone for 4 through the cover. India need a lot of more that and short they all needs down to try to slash it but taken a top edge and goes just out of reach of the short fine field and that has been dropped and 8 of that over and finally team India have posted and reached 101 run mark the loss of 3 wicket in 19 over 
Kaka to bowl the last over to the pad and Deepthi plays a lofted pick up shot for just the run. Slow and full and they all cut it for a 4 pass the third man. Wicket full and straight they all moves away and try to shot through the cover but misses it and stumps rattled. Single to finish. India end up with just 109 runs with a loss of 4 wicket on a board when well below par. It is up to Deepthi Sharma and co to see the woman in blue through. South Africa on the other hand will be extremely pleased with the bowling and the fielding as so the target for the South Africa women's team is 110 runs in their 20 overs to win this South Africa T20 series, the Tri-Series final against Team India. They need 110. So now it's the start of the chase of the South Africa women's team. Laura Woodalt and Tasmin Brits will open for South Africa. Deepthi starts with the ball for India. Deepthi to Woodalt. Start with a 4 dot and Woodalt is struggling due to the lack of the pace. And that's the start the Team India needed. It's a maiden over. Rajeshwari Gaikot will bowl the second. Brits get off the mark with a massive 6. Comes down the track and slot it over the long one. First maximum in this match. So close. Arm ball and Brits gets an inside edge but to the pads. Wide down the leg side 7 from that over. And Deepthi continue. Cap low will not takes a big swing and misses. Huge shot from Deepthi to the wicket. And the empire thinks otherwise. It's wicket. Deepthi strikes. Pitched a wide outside off and took some massive turn and castles would out stump. Brilliant over, just one run, Anna wicket, and at the end of three over, score of Team South Africa women's is now eight run with the loss of one wicket. Snare Rana is in full to bowl the fourth. Fantastic stuff from Rana keeps it simple with the stumps offering no room, five balls up, and just one conceded. Just two from the over, and at the end of four over, the score is now ten run with the loss of one wicket. Keep the resumes this time, and that is it. Good length pitching outside of and good all swings but takes an outside edge. Fall save though. A couple of runs to finish. 5 from that over. And at the end of 5 over, the score is now 15 runs with the loss of 1 wicket. Rana bowls a 6 and the wicket kept it low and full and Brits edge it to Jessica Badia. The first two dot have been done the trick. Forced Brits to attempt for a big one. 4. To spread a lofted on drive that races away for a boundary. And at the end of 6 over, the score is now 19 runs with the loss of 2 wicket. Kai quarter places deep the couple of singles to start off and wicket. God all departs. And full and straight and got all attempted a slog sweep and misses a stump sir castle 3 run and a wicket from that over. And at the end of 7 over the score is now 22 run with the loss of 3 wicket. Backward return is unlucky to see the first ball runs away for 4 try but too hard to the attack the stumps and there's meanwhile milestone alert for Sonia Lewis. She reached 1000 runs in T20 as the 6th player to manage to cross the mark. Herman seems to have some discomfort in her left toe shoulder and that is gone. Herman Preet Kaur is off the field. South Africa uses the break to their benefit with Taran sending the ball racing through the mid-on. Good over for South Africa, 10 runs off trip. And at the end of 10 over, the score of Team South Africa women's team is now 46 runs with the loss of 3 wicket. Takur back into the attack and wicket. Luz gets a leading as Deepthi takes the catch comfortably. Come back on the cards. Yes, it is. An area direction is in at number 6. And at the end of the over, the just 2 run and a wicket. And at the end of 11 over, the score of Team South Africa women's is now 48 runs with the loss of 4 wicket. Pooja Vasarkar is brought in, replaces Guy Quad. First ball dot, run out attempt at the non sagar and it runs away for an over through. Dirksen steals a double, 6 from that over. And at the end of 12 over, the score is now 54 run with the loss of 4 wicket. They still need 56 run in 8 over with 7 run from an over. And this game could be turned out to be a thriller of a final in between Team India and the South Africa women's team in this final match of the South Africa T20 Women's Tri Series 2000.